scary, vicious, dangerous and even evil. These are words used to describe these creatures. For centuries, snakes have been treated with all the contempt that humanity can master. Most people's immediate response to the sight of a snake is to gear up and wage war against the creature. But as irony would have it, it is exactly this kind of reaction that lands most people in hot soup. See, snake venom is a defense mechanism, a mechanism they employ when they perceive danger, making trying to corner an already defensive snake a counteractive action. Well, most of the time you don't meet a snake in the house. You do meet it out in the field or in the bush. And so I'd certainly recommend to anybody, like any other wild animal, leave it alone. You know, if you go trying to to cause it or annoy it, you know, you're going to get yourself into trouble. If it was a baboon and you try to, to mess with it, you, you'll end up getting bitten. So the same way, respect it and give it distance. Statistics show that there are a total of 1.5 million snake bites every year in sub-Saharan Africa. A majority of these bites happening in rural areas where access to comprehensive health care is not a luxury many get to enjoy. Here in the sort of Watamu Malindi area in Kilifi North, we, we have that on a, on a daily basis. So the guys are out catching snakes all the time. They'll call. We'll go there. We'll remove the snake. And depending on it, some of them come back to the anti-venom program because we milk snakes. You need to milk snakes to, create, to get venom, and it's that venom that's used to make anti-venom. With the number of snake venom doses dropping from 200,000 in the 1980s to less than 20,000 currently, only 10% of poisonous snake bites are treated. Atop this disturbing statistic is the fact that there is an anti-venom crisis in the continent, a crisis that has seen an influx of bogus antidotes imported into the country. Uh, there's some huge problems at the moment. There is a massive worldwide shortage of anti-venom, especially in Africa. We are probably at the tightest crunch we have ever seen. We have never had a situation, not for many years, at least since the manufacture of anti-venom, that it has been so short. We have a, a manufacturer called Fava Freak, um, which is a pasteur anti-venom. They are no longer manufacturing. Antidotes that may be detrimental to the victim's health if they are not meant for the venom that is in the person's system. Given this disturbing fact, snake handlers such as Taylor feel the need to debunk myths and attitudes surrounding these reptiles. While your first instinct when you find a snake would be to kill it or smash its head, experts tell us all you need to do is back away and let it be because snakes only bite when provoked. Trixingado, KTN News, Kilifi County.